a, a final political matter that is uh, very important at this particular point as the president thinks about it. After the Connecticut massacre, what's the solution? What kind of restrictions should be put in place? It's a very complex issue, and I'm, I'm anxious to see what uh, Vice President Biden is going to come up with. Because, you know, you have deranged people throughout the country, unfortunately, and they're part of the problem. You have to be deranged to pick up a Bushmaster or some weapon and go into a school and kill people. So how do we deal with that part of the problem? Is there an issue with violence on television, violence in our games? That has to be looked at. With respect to guns themselves, I'm a gun owner. I'm a believer in the Second Amendment. I, I know the amendment rather thoroughly. I know the issue of a well-regulated militia. But at the same time, we also have a responsibility under the Constitution and the Bill of Rights to protect our people. So surely we should be able to find some meeting of the minds on this issue. Why can't we test everybody or have everybody run through a screen to make sure that they're a responsible person before they're allowed to buy a weapon, either in a store or in a private transaction? Why can't we do a better job of registering things? And with respect to assault weapons, I see no need for Bushmasters in the hands of an individual person who might be deranged. If you want to fire a Bushmaster, go out to a range and fire a Bushmaster. Uh, but whether or not it's in our overall interest to have these kinds of weapons in the hands of Americans uh, who might not be responsible is a question we have to answer. How much are we really giving up if we said that this kind of weapon should not be readily available to anybody who wants to buy one? And so I think we're, we're, at, we're at a very important point in our national dialogue in this. The NRA feels very, very strongly. Gun owners feel very, very strongly. And at the same time, the American people are concerned about the kinds of things that are happening in our society. Surely, if we can't get the whole ball of wax, I hope that there'll be a way to find something in this continuum of things we can do that we're able to do to demonstrate to the American people that this problem is being taken seriously. General Powell, we'll leave it there. As always, thank you very much for your views. Thank you, David. And coming